Greg here with uh, R&W Distilling. I just wanted to reach out and uh, do this uh, video to show you uh, some of the products that we're um, getting ready to launch on our, on our new web website, which is rnwdistilling.com. It's rnwdistilling.com. Check it out. Uh, we do offer a, a three-inch uh, reflux column as well as a four-inch, which you're looking at here. So if you want to check out the three inch, go ahead and check it out on our site. Um, wanted to go over a little bit about this, this uh, you know, this reflux column and, and, and what kind of material we're using on it. We decided, uh, you know, my partner and I and, and our fabricator sat down and we decided to go with the, with uh, copper one because it's a great conductor of heat. Um, two, it utilizes the old world uh, uh, material with, with the new world technology. And, uh, and three, you know, co copper catalyzes the breakdown of esters and, and, and sulfuric compounds in, in the vapor column. Um, these, these compounds are, are produced uh, during the fermentation process and are very undesirable in, in the final distilled spirit. So, you know, th those are some of the things that we, you know, why we decided to use copper. Um, so let's just take a look at the column itself. When you, when you buy this unit right here, the 4-inch, you're, you're actually going to get the spacer. You're going to get your four body sections with all your perforated plates. You're going to get the uh, tri clamps. Uh, you're going to get the deflagrator with the thermostat. You're going to get the loop over cap, the loop over, the secondary condenser, as well as the parrot. So that all come with it. All your plumbing, um, you know, uh, fixtures are all in the back. Um, we decided to put everything in the back so you actually don't see all those uh, all those components, which uh, you know kind of takes away from the, the beauty of the unit. Um, we did decide to, um, to, to use a, a brass ferrule for our, uh, our, ferrule, for our tri clamp connection and uh, we have done a lot of research on this and, and we have the, the product and material that we're using in these, in these uh, brass ferrules are 99.8% lead free, just so, so you know and I reiterate that, they're 99.8% lead free. So you don't, have any, you don't have to worry about anything leaching into your, your final product. So, um, we did. We did do our homework on that. Um, again, our fabricators uh, did an absolutely phenomenal job on this. I wanted you to look at this. Get a little close-up shot on this. That we did use soft solder. Um, it's all lead-free, um, and they just did a phenomenal job on cleaning up their their work and um, and where the uh, sight glass marries the uh, body section is just impeccable. They did an absolutely superior job. Uh, we did also add a small notch. In the bottom of the uh, the sight glass area, so so any of the uh, ethanol uh, that does not get held up inside there, it actually passes through and ends up in a perforated plate. So anyway, uh, when you get an opportunity, check out the website. Uh, there's a lot on there. Uh, you know, take your time, look through it. We we do have some boiler assemblies in there, and and wanted you to look at those too. Um, the one that you're looking at right now, we did actually get rid of the. Uh, the two-inch tap, and we actually had um, my one of the fabricators weld on a, a four-inch stainless steel ferrule, which gives us, um, you know, great transition from the boiler up into the up into the tower. So going from a two-inch to a four-inch area, it, it just it flows so much better being four-inch. So uh, again, take a look at the site, and that's um, rnwdistilling.com, and tell us what you think. And uh, thanks for watching.